the wax and put it in there. And then we put the thing in, there. in here. Mm -hmm. well, Try and even, even them out. And then I'll spin it. Wait for a minute, it. Don't it's the 30th of September and we're extracting our honey. What we're going to do first is take the capping off using a knife carefully to take off the wax tops. We then do that with each one of the frames, put it in the extractor, whiz round the extractor and the honey all goes to the bottom. Oh, yeah. The tight squeeze now, they've all fell down now. The extractor's loaded and ready to go. So we're going to start turning that handle around really fast. And what should happen is this will all spin round and all the honey will fly out and then accumulate in the bottom of the extractor. And so far so good. We seem to have done everything the right way round, so let's just give it a whirl and see if it'll come out. Gotta be careful, yeah, they did say, because it moved before. And this is quite easy, except it's a bit wobbly. That's it. To work so, we're just uh, we've extracted our honey, and it, but it's still got bits of wax in. So as it comes out into our tub, tub, we are sieving it to sieve out the bits of wax or anything else that might be in there. We found the odd dead bee in there, which is a shame. <laughs> It doesn't look an awful lot of honey. There's quite a lot coming through here now. Mm. No. Very bit. Oh, we're over. Oh? So it doesn't need to be that high. been four months since we had the bees. We got those on the 30th of May. It's now the 30th of September and this is our first jar of honey. So in four months they have produced hmm, 10, 20 pounds of honey for us and we've left them two supers each for the winter plus their brood box full of food. So they've worked really hard our bees. 